huge thanks to Intel for letting us come down and film the new Devil's Canyon CPUs a month before public launch. It was a great day and all possible thanks to Intel. Check out the Amazon link for any of the products we talk about in this video in the description down below. Hi guys and welcome to Tech Team GB here. We're at the Intel Blogs Day event today and uh, we're here with ASUS to check out the Maxima 7 Hero keep getting it wrong um, and basically we're going to take you through some of the, the new features and just the, the some of the reasons why you should buy this board effectively so um, yes do you want to take us away with some of the best features sure so yeah, if you want to come into the board like I said this is the Maximus 7 Hero this is probably the most popular of our um, or the Maximus other hero is the most popular of the kind of ROG boards so this is the latest version Z97 Z97 Z87 is pretty similar as a chipset as we already discussed so what we've done with with the 7 hero is really kind of refine uh, the design the aesthetics and add some unique features improve the software elements as well so obviously a big feature of the gaming boards is, is aesthetics you yeah. say it properly well, very nice um, looking so this matte black pcb we've got gloss accents on the pcb the heatsink design is obviously very nice red and black is is rog's color scheme we have you know onboard lighting on the pch heatsink onboard lighting around the audio section as well so you know, aesthetic is a, is, a, is an important part of a lot of people's buying decisions for, for gaming focus boards. And with this, you know, with like the black um, Corsair memory we've got here, you can color match LEDs and the Corsair. So that's quite a big important element of buying these boards. In terms of new uh, features or, or kind of gaming focus features, so really it's not about overclocking. All these boards will overclock the CPUs really, really well. Full eight phase uh, power design on this board. Um, but in terms of kind of gaming focused features, one of the new uh, innovations that Asus has added to this is Keybot. Um, which we can look through the software later. But Keybot basically is a, is a microprocessor on the board that will add uh, some macro functionality to a basic keyboard. So it essentially turns a, you know, a basic sort of keyboard into a gaming keyboard so you can play Dota or whatever, Street Fighter, and add your macros on it. We'll be doing a full feature, a uh, full video on all of Asus's software, including AI Suite 3 and yeah, Keybot, um, as, long as, <coughs> as well as some of the other stuff. So uh, stick around for that content as well. So sort of moving around, audio is obviously a really big uh, element of gaming as well. So with the Supreme FX um, audio technology on this board, you've basically got quite high-end sound card level quality. Asus is one of the sort of leaders in, in sound card technology as well. We have uh, you know STX, STX2 sound cards at you know up to 270 pounds for audio professionals as well. So we've got Elna audio grade capacitors on this. Uh, the uh, codec with the EMI shielding on it, headphone amplifier, automatically de de detecting impedance of your headphones. You can change all the profiles and software and so on as well. Uh, very, very high quality audio. Uh, the little red line you can see running around the board is EMI shielding, so it separates the, um, the kind of audio section from the rest of the board. And there's left right channel separation in there as well, again, just to, to you know, make the audio as good as, as, good as it can be. And the other really important element of any gaming PC is networking. Um, so on the ROG 7 Hero, we've got the latest Intel uh, network controller, the 1218, um, 218, sorry. Uh, and Game First 3 as our technology. So uh, this includes some traffic shaping software that will allow you to prioritize gaming traffic. You can set it to prioritize other things depending on what you're doing, but for gaming specifically it will prioritize you know, small UDP, TCP packets. Mm -hmm. The network port itself is enhanced, so we've added extra surface mount components and ESD guards into the network port itself. So that's protected against any sort of shocks or whatever brown out through your system. And you'll get a higher sort of signal quality from your network connection from your router as well. Again, just about providing the best networking performance you can possibly get. It's crucial for gaming. Uh, and, and that's about it in terms of gaming specific hardware features on the board. Um, 
the rest of it you can kind of control in software. Yeah. So as I said, we'll be doing a full video on the software in just a second, but um, yes, that's pretty much it from the, the Maximus 7 uh, Hero. So uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button and let us know you, why you did or didn't in the comments below. Um, we're, we're loving being here in town, obviously. Um, the more you guys comment, like and all that sort of stuff, the more likely it is that we can go to more events like this, get more coverage, get more stuff to you guys and get the information that you guys want to see. So if you've got anything you want to ask these guys, um, maybe a bit late, but I'm sure we can talk to these guys afterwards. So leave them in the comments down below. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next video. Once again, a huge thanks to Intel for letting us come down and play with our awesome new Devil's Canyon CPU lineup. Just a quick shout out to ASUS and Gigabyte who helped out as well with our awesome new motherboards. We'll be working very closely with ASUS, Intel and Gigabyte to bring you guys the best possible coverage of not only Devil's Canyon and Z97, but also loads more future releases, so stay tuned. Click on some of the videos on screen to see some of our brilliant Intel Bloggers Day coverage.